Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 3 of the Adobe Animate tutorial series. Today we're going to look at how to apply action script and apply code snippets inside of Adobe Animate. So over here, uh, let us create a very, very simple code right here. And then let's see what code snippets are. Code snippets are programmed, are pre-programmed programming codes, which you can use to uh, create interactivity inside of Adobe Animate. So uh, to use that, just go to Windows and go to code snippets right here. So in the code snippets, you can see that there's action script, HTML5 and WebZL, as we discussed in previous lesson, but we're going to stick to action script as we discussed in our previous lesson as well. So action script is the traditional code snippets that can be used for uh, flash animations and uh, um, like uh, flash is uh, quite popular for its interactivity and its simplicity. So if you don't know how to write manual codes, then you can create simple applications in flash. So you can see that there's load and unload animations, there's timeline navigation animations, there's action animations and so forth. For example, let's apply a code a snippet. So you can see that there is something called click to hide an object and so an object right there. All right, so let us create an object right here and then uh, click to hide an object. So let me just create an object right here. And what I'm going to do right now is we're going to discuss this further in the lesson. I'm going to right click and convert this into a symbol. All right, so now what I want uh, this symbol to do is when a user clicks on the symbol, I need it to disappear. So I'm going to copy and paste this as well, Control C and Control B. So I have two symbols. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this. I'm going to say click it, double click and click and hide an object while I'm selecting this and just press OK. And now what it did <coughs> is now it is applying the code snippet because it's loading. All right, and the code snippet has been applied. And if you can see, if you understand programming language, then you can see that it has applied the <coughs> mouse click event to that particular shape right there. So now, once I do that, if the, this object has become interactive. So now let me just go to uh, my uh, test panel. All right, so where you go, where you have the test. All right, go to control and then go to test. All right, so once you do the test, Next was the file. If I click this shape, you can see that nothing happens. But if I were to click this shape, you can see that it actually disappears. So let us try that again. Let's click this shape now and click to hide an object. Press OK. All right. It then applied the uh, code to this shape now. All right. So now let's go to Windows. Uh, so to Control Test, and then now click this. You can see that it is uh, it just um, hit itself and click this and then it got hidden itself again. So now let's try it again. Let's go to test, uh, let's go to test, and then click on this shape and this shape, and you can see that the uh, anim that the uh, objects have become interactive with the code. So the line of code is actually stored over here in the actions panel, which is, aut which, um, is automatically made when you click on the um, um, code snippet right here. So I can right click and see actions over here and you can see that the actions for the shapes are there just like that. All right. So this is how you apply action scripts uh, and code snippets inside of Adobe Animate. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.